So first video we have here, the presidents rank every zombies map. Now I am very excited about this video. I know that there's some hot takes in the zombie community uh, concerning certain maps and which ones are the best. Uh, there, you know, there's a lot of arguing and a lot of people get upset. Uh, and I don't think the presidents are going to be any different. So this should be fun to watch. Let's just get into it. Fellas, let's get to ranking these zombies maps. So are we ranking every zombies map, including Infinite Warfare, Exo Zombies, and World War II? Fuck no. Only Seems Treyarch. quiet. All those other modes suck compared to the real thing. You do got to admit, though, Donald, uh, Zombies in Spaceland is a goaded map. True. Oh, for sure. One of the best maps ever made. Better than many Treyarch maps. True. It's just everything else not made by Treyarch is mid. Yep. Agreed. Zombies in Spaceland is the exception. The beast from beyond or the tortured path. Ugh. You know, I actually like the tortured path. Okay. Of fucking course, Joe yeah, likes the tortured path. Yeah, your fucking opinion is invalid. That map, if you can even call it one, puts me to sleep. Which yep. I guess explains why you like it. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's not start arguing just yet. Yeah, take it we easy. We have lots of maps to get through with Treyarch alone. Yep. So uh, let's get started with Noct. Noct and Toad is great. Horrible. No, no. perks or pack a punch. Are you kidding me? It's a classic. Well, that's not really fair, Donald. Noct is yeah. the very first zombies map and laid the way for everything that came after it. Yeah, Show I agree. Show some respect. Yeah, seriously, Don. Without Noct, we wouldn't I'm have the great Joe. maps we have today. And George. Got to give it at least C tier. No way. Noct is so boring. I think the C is fair. Version has no I'd probably weapons, give it C. It C or B. It forever for the zombies to walk their slow asses to the barricades. It was, yeah. They, How is that fun? It Listen, Donald, nobody is saying it's a masterpiece. You just yeah. got to appreciate what it did for the It franchise. wasn't optimized yet. compromise at D tier? Whatever. D? Let's just move That's on too from low. Dog shit map. Upper C, Alrighty, lower next B. Next up is Verruckt. Yeah. Solid B tier. Don't like Verruckt personally. I love the personally. creepy atmosphere and the tight map layout. It's very Not difficult, a fan. but that adds to the fun. Not a fan. You know, I can agree with that. There's no pack-a-punch, but it did introduce Perca-Colas and the roaming mystery box mechanic. A big step up from that was Shitty cool. Noct. I don't know, Fuck. man. I think it's too scary, and that's no fun. Okay. I <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, are you serious, Joe? Grow a pair. We're putting it in B. Great. Now onto the map that never seems to go away. Hey, I know this map from Vanguard. I love this one. There are so many things wrong with what you just said. For starters, Shino Numa is mid as fuck anyways, but the Vanguard version is even worse. You're right about the Vanguard version being awful, even though it probably is the best part of that game, but... I only really know Shino Numa cool. for, like, its speedruns. Really or the not speedruns, but its high rounds. Crew. I agree, but who goes back and actually plays Shino Numa still? Nobody. Nobody does. It was cool when it came out, but now is overshadowed by practically every map that came after it. Yes. If I was being generous, I could see putting it in D tier. I don't know. I really liked it on Vanguard. I'd give it an C S or D. Shut the fuck up, sloppy yeah. Joe. Joe, you're you a need simpleton to stop. if you think Vanguard is good. Play a real Lower C, game upper like D. Black Ops 3. That's what I said. Seriously, Joe. Vanguard was a bigger travesty than when George destabilized the Middle East for oil. <laughs> fuck you, Barack. <laughs> you didn't exactly try and make things better over there. True. Whatever. Let's just put this shit in D tier and move on to a real goaded map. There is. That's fair. Surely we can all agree that this is S tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, it Dyer gave us the pack a punch, good. monkey bombs, tons of lore, etc. It really was a yeah. huge step forward. At, for at least A. Joe, I thought you said you haven't played a lot of these old maps when we did the moon Easter egg the other day. He probably just forgot because he has dementia. Best to not worry about it. <laughs> that said, Derisa is a certified masterpiece to me. Yeah. It can't go any yeah. lower than S tier. It's great. That was an easy decision. Glad we agree. Kino. Next up, one of my favorites, Kino. Kino's got to yeah, be Yeah, I got to back Obama on this one. Kino is so good, a classic. S or A. A I'd put it in course, S. Of course, the two sissy Democrats like the most overrated zombies map ever. Kino is for little babies and is... It is overrated. I agree. Um, it has that kind of, like, title or atmosphere of being, like, the zombies map, you know? But, like, it's a great map. I, I It can't... It cannot go lower than B. I think A, I think upper A is where I would put it, but I cannot justify it going lower than B at all. Just a worse version of Dereza. People only like it because it was their first zombies map. It doesn't That's hold up. not true. Yeah, Kino didn't really innovate too much from Dereza, but he didn't I still have like to. It. I'd say it's a B tier map. I was thinking A tier at least. I mean, it's iconic. An iconic piece of shit, maybe. Okay, F Trump. Donald, you are clearly in the minority here. I think it's an S tier, but just to stop your bitching, a. how about we settle for B tier? 
Uh, you guys are fucking crazy. Upper B. Kino it should so go boring, above Verrucked, I think. Now, Kino's better than Verrucked. Five is awesome. Yeah, president should a lot of people really, really cool like Five. I'm not sure. Well, President Cheeto, any shit talk you want to spew about Five? I mean, playing as JFK is really cool, but I'd have That's to true. say it's D tier because the Wonder D? Weapon is straight ass, and true. the Pentagon Thief is one of the lamest special rounds ever. Donald has a point. The winner's yeah. howl is dog shit. Yeah. I stubbed my little toe on the Oval Office desk once, and I think that hurt more than that gun ever could. I say <laughs> we meet in the middle at C tier. It's a flawed masterpiece, in my opinion. C's Next fair. up is Ascension. I fucking hate this map for a couple reasons. I honestly don't like Ascension that much either. Fucking space monkeys. Yeah, I'm not the a big fan. The monkeys definitely drag the map down a lot, but it's still a cool map that's fun to go for high rounds on. Come on, they're not that bad. It makes the map challenging. I like that the map starts in black and white. Reminds of course you do. Of the good old days. Jesus H. You fucking, fucking Christ. Corpse. Somebody come put Grandpa to bed. Yeah, he honestly. He thinks the map having no color is a positive. Focus, guys. We have a lot of maps left to cover. Clearly, there are mixed emotions about Ascension. It did give us the first ever Easter egg quest, so I say we settle for B tier. Whatever you say, Hussein. Call of the Dead is up next. To be honest, this map never really clicked with me. Understandable. The Wonder Weapons are pretty mediocre all around. George Romero can be a pain in the ass. I thought George Romero was cool. Icy Waters can be really annoying to deal with. Icy Waters were but annoying. I think there is good to be found. It's another B tier for me. C or B. Are you guys kidding me? Sleepy Joe, you just don't know perfection when you see it. It's, Call of the okay. Dead has so many amazing features. See, I usually agree with Trump in most of these videos, but as of so far, like, Trump is losing me. I mean, I like, yeah, I, I, I haven't really agreed with much of what he said at all. Sure, the Wonder Weapons are lackluster, but they are unique. And you can get the Wonder Weapon from George after doing the Easter egg. True. And this is the first time we got the amazing music of Avenged Sevenfold. That's in also Call of true. Duty. You know, I was leaning more towards B tier as well, but I think Donnie has swayed me. Yeah. The Easter egg is Th pretty good, good, and there's points. two versions depending on if you're playing solo or co op, which I appreciate. Plus, I have fond memories of rocking out to Avenge Sevenfold while playing this Who in doesn't? the Oval Office. Who doesn't? Thank you, Barack. Seems bipartisanship is possible after all. Personally, this is an S tier for me. <laughs> S tier is just too high. The map does a have or some B. glaring issues. Probably A. Meet in the middle at A tier? I mean, not really, but since you dumbasses can't appreciate the masterpiece that Call of the Dead is, guess we have to. Oh, all right, no. Shangri La is up I next. I fucking hate Talk Shangri Talk about mid as fuck. Yeah, yeah Shang I is very challenging. It. But not in a fun way, but it's, more of a yeah, I exactly. want to pull my hair out kind of way. That is exactly correct. What what Trump said is exactly correct. It is hard as shit, but not in a fun way. It just feels like bullshit most of the time. May have a unanimous decision here. The baby gun is fun, though, and the Easter egg is pretty good. So I say we no, put it's it in not. D tier. Works for me. Moon is up next. Ah, uh, Moon. Probably the most annoying black ops map to play. Yeah. Which is saying something considering some of the maps on there are not that fun. What a load of malarkey. Moon is a great map. Joe, you literally just played Moon for the first time the other day and were carried through the Easter egg. Ooh, call him out Obama, but I'll explain. When you're not in an area with air and being forced to wear that stupid fucking helmet, you can barely hear shit. You're constantly being forced to stop what you're doing and go to spawn to stop excavators from drilling. True. The True. astronaut steals your perks and it's Jug he takes 99% of the time. That's a C tier And the map zombies will float towards you and hit you. Or you'll float too far into a horde of zombies. Need I continue? Yeah, but it's zombies on the fucking moon. Immediate S tier. No, Donald what? does make some good points, but the map is absolutely iconic. I can't put oh it any lower God. than A tier. What? A tier is way no too fucking shot. high for moon. Yeah, that's this way too high. This map is overrated as fuck. Not a big fan. The only fan. positive is the Easter egg, which is cool when the stars actually align. The Easter egg is to cool as fuck. Get everything you need to do it. But Waiting that's like. Waiting for excavator pie to breach tunnel six. Waste it doesn't make up for Sleepy everything Joe's else. Inauguration that nobody watched. Will you <laughs> shut up, man? Get At least I Joe. didn't lie about how many people showed up to mine. Oh, no, Fuck here we you, go. Sleepy Joe. All I'm saying is this map cannot go any higher than C tier. Yeah, and that's me being generous. Yeah, C is where Let's put just it. move on to the next map. Oh, God, transit. Talk about something that actually does turn me into Sleepy Joe. Oh, no, don't talk shit about transit, dude. Transit gets too much hate. This map was fucking legendary. I never had a bad time playing this map. I am a diehard transit defender. I will die on that hill. I think it gets way more shit than it deserves. 
I know you're not shit talking one of the all time classics. Yeah, though. there you go, Trump. The Trump's got my back this time. Don? Transit sucks and everybody knows it. Yeah, uh, seriously, Donald, this should have been a quick one to get through. Are you saying you actually like transit? Damn right I am. This map took big risks when it released, and the businessman in me loves taking risks. I mean, you can ride a bus like Rosa fucking Parks on this map. Okay, fuck, I mean, yeah, that's weird. And before you weird. call me racist, I'll have you know I actually met Rosa Parks. Terrific woman. She would have loved transit. Yeah, okay, Common bro. Trump L. The only one taking an L today is you losers who can't recognize greatness. I'd put I transit mean, for example, in A. Transit is huge. Bigger a or B. means better. Upper B. And don't get me started on the wonder weapon. It actually requires skill to use. It's not overpowered for the sake of being overpowered. True. And there are two Easter eggs, depending on if you want to follow Maxis or Richtofen. True. Even your shitty little knock that you all love and the so electric much man. Is in transit. I can't believe we're listening to this malarkey. Just drop it in F tier Barry and let's move. Do on. not. Okay, Nuketown oh, Zombies is up man. next. Nuketown. I I can't even. I can't take anything else they say on this on this tier list seriously anymore transit is the first f tier map i mean i know that there were like performance issues and people didn't like the whole fog in between the areas but like f tier nah man no nah. is pretty boring not gonna lie yeah who likes waiting 20 something rounds yeah. for jug to hopefully it, it was it was sky. fucking boring yeah the person Plus no wonder boring. weapon drop no this shit in d tier where it belongs will do next up is die rise I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Hashtag remaster die rise. George, you only mm. like this map because there are lots of buildings that are collapsing on it. Holy shit, Sleepy Joe comes in with a haymaker. Fuck you, Joe. I happen to enjoy the layout of the map and some of the unique mechanics. Wow. The verticality of die Joe rise was is not something we never really saw again. It's true. It was the unique. The liquefier is one of the strongest wonder weapons, even without a pack-a-punch version. The trample steam is a fun mode of travel across no, the different wasn't. buildings. Etc. No, it wasn't. It wasn't fun. But aren't fun. you forgetting something, was George? Annoying. For the Easter egg, you have to play with little mahjong tiles like an old white woman. And this <laughs> map gave us possibly the worst perk ever, who's who. I mean, yeah, the who's, who's, who's who jingle does shit. slap, though. The oh, jingle's and it good. it takes place in China. I nominate oh. Die Rise to the D tier. Yeah, for real. Uh, D tier it is. Sorry, George. Surely we yeah. can all agree that Mob of the Dead is an easy S tier? Easy. Yep. Of Way course. too easy. Everything about it is yeah. terrific. The that best, map believe is, me. That map is the I don't gold know, guys, standard. I think. Shut, Shut up, Joe. Shut the fuck up. Moving yeah. on to Buried. You know, this map takes place like in the continent lot. of Africa, Barack. Does it remind you of home? Fuck you, Don, you racist prick. You know damn well I was born in Hawaii. <laughs> Prove it. Let's see your birth certificate. Oh, man. How about we see your birth certificate to prove you're not the love child of Hitler and a dried up old tangerine? Jesus Holy Christ. Holy shit, Joe just gives no fucks tonight. Calm down, Creepy Joe. It was just a joke. Moving on, what are we feeling about Buried? Buried's good. Personally, I think it's a tad on the easy side, but B -tier it is really or A -tier. fun. A-tier. I personally think the witches are dummy thick. But yeah, that's true. I agree wholeheartedly about the witches, Barack. I think the map is way too easy, too. It's like Baby's first zombies map. The Paralyzer is pretty dope, though. Easy. Try getting to a high round on this map. It's not easy. You have to use buildables, which is annoying as fuck. Sounds like a skill issue, Joe. <laughs> this Get map fucked. is a solid B tier for me, though. A or B? I was leaning more towards C tier. I was thinking D tier. I can't stand this map. It's Especially not that bad. Especially Leroy and his big dumb ass. That Leroy is great. Candy, Don't touch shit to about Joe Leroy. And his white van. Fuck you, dumb dumb. And his name is Arthur, Ooh, not Leroy. Hit him with the dumb dumb. All right, I say we meet in the middle at C tier. We can't argue about buried all night. We still have lots of maps to get through. Yeah, that's Fine true. by me. Next up is Origins. Love easy it. S tier. Easy S tier. Truly one of the all-time classics. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I really love the ending cutscene too. Samantha looks cute as hell in those little pajamas. So Shadows huh? of Evil then. Personally, I wait, don't like wait, the direction. Wait, 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 no. Say that again? That scene, too. Samantha looks cute as hell in those little pajamas. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so, Shadows of Evil, then. Oh, Personally, you need I don't to like chill. the direction Black Ops 3 Love took it. the storyline. If you're asking me, Shadows is an easy S tier. I think Shadows is probably my favorite zombies map of all time, if not top three. But I, it's it's in competition for number one for me. It used to be cool when it was about secret Nazi experiments and shit like that. 
Oh, sh fuck but the off. Lovecraftian stuff and different dimensions just made an already complicated story that much more hard That's to follow. That's why it's so good. I mean, I get that, but Black Ops 3's storytelling wasn't that hard to follow. Sure, there was a lot hidden below the surface, but Zombies was always like that. True. Just watch a Mr. Raffle Waffles video. Yeah, and it see? Sense. Yeah, yeah. Blundell was cooking. Yeah, Obama knows, dude. Go watch one of those no-nonsense Easter egg guides. You'll be caught right up to speed. ...when he made Black Ops 3, and Shadows of Evil is a perfect example. The aesthetic of the 1920s was perfect, especially the soundtrack. The beast mode mechanic was a cool spin on afterlife mode from Mob of the Dead, true. which this map shares a lot of similarities with. Also true. I suppose that's fair. I mean, Black Ops 3 is the best game in terms of gameplay, so the maps are fun to play regardless. The Apothecon Servant is a fun wonder weapon, and the Margua, Parasites, and Meatballs are unique enemies to spice up the gameplay of normal zombies. Also, Jeff fucking Goldblum is one of the characters. True. So can we agree on S tier for Shadow? Easy S tier. Sure, I can accept that. Easy S tier. Next up is DE. Ah, Dare Eisendrake, one of the greatest maps ever made. I like Dare Eisendrake sure, a lot. it's in a medieval castle. And as we all know, I'm a sucker for Although medieval Although the Easter castles. egg is a pain in the ass. I don't know, Jack. I didn't like the wonder weapon that much. Seemed kind of weak. Joe, that's because... If, well, actually, I, I think I'm mistaking, um, I think I'm mistaking Dryzen Drax Because your slow else. ass never built Easter anything other than the wolf bow. Bad. I love because the Because you're a noob. Maybe pull up another Mr. Raffle Waffles guy yeah. and build the goaded bow next time. Yep. Come on, man. This map had an amazing Easter egg bringing Dempsey home. That Dude, yeah, that's true. That ending cutscene is fucking amazing. And the first amazing. ever boss fight in Zombies was on this map. It deserves S tier. Is that true? Um, actually, the first boss fight in Zombies was against Oz in Exo Zombies Descent. Just saying. Oh God. I know you didn't just um Shut actually the fuck George up about, about Exo Zombies. We pretend that shit doesn't exist. Barack. It shouldn't exist. Well, I know your side likes to spread misinformation, Don. Just oh, had to put no. that out there. Oh Let's no. Let's just put Dare Eisendrake in S tier. Yeah. Fucking Zetsubo, this map sucks. Oh. Well, I agree. It is a step. Bro, Zetsubo. Zetsubo Noshima gets too much hate, man. I was a big fan of the theme of Zetsubo Noshima. I wasn't necessarily a big fan of, like, the layout of the map, but I think what they were going for was really cool. A lot of people hated, like, how you had to grow the plants and then and you had to go in the underwater. And the Easter egg was weird when you, like, shoot down the plane with the artillery. I remember it. That was a pain in the ass, but I think it gets more hate than it deserves. Step down in quality from DE and Shadows, it isn't that bad. Isn't it's not that, that bad. bad? It's the not that bad. The map is ugly as shit. No. The Easter egg is tedious and not fun. The boss fight is barely a boss fight at all. The process of getting the KT4 is not fun in the slightest. And that Shrek motherfucker zombie is one of the worst special zombies in Treyarch history. So where do you propose we put it, Donald? I think it's a C tier myself. F tier. Nobody likes this map. Not true. Well, I think you're just shitting on it because some zombies YouTubers told you it wasn't fun and you listened to them, but uh, yep. the spiders scare me, so D tier. Jesus, Joe, you're such a <laughs> pussy, but all right, D pansy. it is then. Next yeah, is Gerard Kroby. I hate this map. Dragons don't belong in COD zombies. Shut up. I mean, it is kind of ridiculous, but the map itself is pretty fun Gerard and Kobe's there's two great. boss fights. Ultimus Nikolai is really hilarious on Lord Covey's great. I mean, the Easter egg is a pain in the ass, don't get me wrong. Uh, if you don't have the Ray Gun Mark III, that shit is damn near impossible. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody beat that Easter egg without using the Mark III, especially on that one part where you have to like shoot outside the map to defend this little pod or whatever. Not fucking possible without the Mark III. Uh, but other than that, I thought the map, the design, and, and the story going on there was, was pretty good. On this map, too. The big negatives for me are the Easter egg being really annoying. Some of those yep. challenges are just not fun or downright yep. frustrating. Yep. And the wonder weapon is not that good on high rounds. Yeah, the Mark III is kind of mid, no cap. Don't get me started on those annoying-ass Valkyrie drones. I love the Mark III, Annoying personally. as fuck. And the dragon constantly breathing fire down it's on your training spot. It's not that bad, dude. So fucking dumb. It's not Better that Better not bad. let JC backfire here, you shit-talking Gorod, Donald. He'll come after you. Let that little weasel come after me. I don't fucking care. Garot is overrated. It's not the worst map by any means, but I never go back and play it. I still think it's a solid A tier. It's flawed, but still a great map. I mean, yeah. Donald, you should love it. It takes place in Russia after all. 
Oh, shut up with the Russia hoax, Joe. Moving on, Revelations. Personally, I think it's fun. Love it. B-tier at best. Yeah, I like that there are two really overpowered wonder weapons on it. it. Makes for a fun and easy high round experience. Yeah, I like that there are two really overpowered wonder weapons on it. I bet you do. It makes for a fun and easy high round experience. Only way your noob ass is ever making it to round 100. Yeah. We do got to talk about that Easter egg, though. I mean, it took like a week to solve because of how nonsensical the steps it's were. It's weird. Yeah, who the fuck thought that going around shooting random rocks and bones was a good idea for yeah, an Easter Yeah, that shit was fucking and weird. And the boss fight is just the Shadows of Evil fight recycled. Also, I think gameplay is more important than true. the Easter egg. And it was really cool seeing a bunch of old I maps agree with Joe, on actually. one map. Plus the yeah. I agree with Joe. The gameplay is more important than the Easter egg, and having all the different sections of, of a bunch of different maps added into one place I thought was, was really fun. There was a lot of cool story details and plot threads tied up via radios and ciphers around also the map. Also true. Oh, sleepy, you poor mistaken fool. Uh, Revelations was literally a copy-paste of other maps. There was nothing new gameplay-wise to the formula. No uh, new shield, new wonder weapon, specialist weapon, etc. It was a rip-off. It was a... It was a combination. It was it was a, a best of all the worlds combined. Trump, you're missing the point. Personally, it's a C tier for me. Nuh-uh. A tier. A or B. You both are so wrong. It's an F tier. No. Guess I'll settle this like how I handled Al-Qaeda. Jesus. Put it in C tier Obama and call it a day. George, Joe if you ever it. try and overrule me again, I'll have to throw my shoe at you. <laughs> well, the last time that happened, oh, I no. dodged that shit with speed the likes True. of which you could never fathom. Bro, it's got Your fucking lard ultra ass instinct. Hit a stationary target. Come to Mar-a-Lago. I'll square up, George. You neocon oh, pussy. God Gentlemen, damn. Gentlemen, we got to get yeah, through BO4 still. Just easy. relax. Oh, don't remind me. Black Ops 4 is such a letdown compared to the masterpiece that is Black Ops 3. Facts. I actually liked it, especially Blood of the Dead. Well, Blood of the I, th I honestly... People aren't going to want to hear this. I think Black Ops 3 Zombies was the peak of zombies not black ops 2 not black ops but black ops 3 in my humble opinion was as good as zombies got of the dead had a cool ending cutscene. that's where the positive stopped for me it suffers the same problems all black ops 4 maps do the perk system is ass True. Starting with specialist weapons was a big step yeah, down from the map specific yeah, ones of black ops true. 3 it made it way too easy as well I actually love the perk system. It encourages yeah, trying new loadouts do. instead of the same perks every time. Well, Joe, that, that doesn't really make sense because everyone ran the same four perks usually anyways. Yeah. Dying Wish was a crutch perk. Winter's Whale was really overpowered. There was still little variety. What map you were playing would determine what perks you brought. I mean, a lot of the perks were lame anyways, like Blaze Phase. Who uses that shit? Nobody uses Joe that does. shit. Well, Joe still, does. Blood of the Dead had a lot of good storytelling in it and the new areas were really interesting to play on no like they the weren't new spawn area they were and not, the catwalk though. to get to the prison and my boy the blundergat was back with well, a yeah new everybody variant. loves the blundergat no, 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 but Sleepy that's Joe. not unique to blood of the, the dead the only blunder here is your entire presidency they nerfed the blundergat <laughs> and acid gat hard from mob of the dead oh not no. to mention the hell's retriever was useless since you only had one equipment slot they removed the plane added a moving pack-a-punch yeah. And even retconned a lot of the great lore that Mob of the Dead had. Yeah. Immediate F tier. We pretend this shit doesn't exist too. I gotta agree, as a certified Mob of the Dead F, I think, is a bit harsh. I'd say C or D. Most. I can't help but cry when I think about it. Okay, calm down, George. It's just a game. Still, to make sure Joe's opinion is taken into account, I'll drop it in D. Yeah, Thanks, that so works. Long. Moving on, we have Classified. I think it lost a lot of the charm that Five had, but I also really enjoy how Pack-a-Punch is at Groom Lake. And while not as good as playing as Presidents, the Ultimus crew finally returning for the first time since Moon was really great. Plus, they buffed the Winter's Howl B-tier. Solid points, George, but I would have to say C-tier, considering yeah. the Easter egg was to get to round 100 and fucking 50. I remember yeah, trying what that was when that? this game first came out and my shit I remember that. at round 149. Oh Never again. no, dude. I remember hearing about that, dude. People were trying to high round to get to the Easter egg and their fucking, like, their PCs or their consoles just could not hang. And that shit was, like, crashing and blue screening, dude. I, I remember hearing a story about a guy whose fucking PlayStation just bricked entirely. Like, it was broken for good. He had to get a new one.
because he was trying to high round fucking classified to get the Easter egg. That's tough, buddy. I got to agree with Donnie. Plus, the new areas of the map were also kind of pointless. It is nice how they added a shield, though. I would still say shield it's a, cool. a B tier, one I of the better shields. Black Ops 4 Ether maps. Okay, B tier it is then. Next up is one of my favorites, Voyage of Despair. Seriously, Sleepy? No you shot. You like this shipwreck of a no map, pun intended? No shot. I know your old ass was probably on the Titanic when it sunk. Hate that map. map. Well, I don't hate horrendous. it. horrendous. There's way too many special zombie types. Yes. The Kraken and its variants are subpar. Yes. And the Easter egg fucking blows. Yes. Not to mention it's part of the shitty chaos storyline. The fucking cannon Well, the Wonder boss Weapon fight was one of Treyarch's good. best, to I be don't fair. Like it. And the Easter egg is one of Treyarch's worst. I mean, yes. the planet's step speaks for itself. Planet that step wasn't even that bad. To do solo, and even with friends, it is utterly confusing. Well, yeah, Joe, you're alone on this. This shit has. Yeah, that was brutal because fucking, I don't know about you guys, but none of my friends know shit about astronomy, and so I would tell them to like shoot Mars or shoot Jupiter, and they'd fucking shoot Mercury or or Neptune. Be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? They're like, I, I don't know which one is which. I'm like, just pull it, pull it up on your fucking phone or some shit, man. Shoot the right planet has to go in f tier fuck you guys pissed me off can't recognize a good map when you see it i will defend the chaos maps till i die which won't be very long you fucking fossil <laughs> why are you always making things personal trump i'm tired of it then nobody will be there to carry you through every easter egg dumbass oh, you no. better pardon me if shit goes down or else you're fucked <laughs> guys let's just move on please yeah Next lord you despair nine. is dog shit well everyone knows i hate chaos but this one is all right yeah I actually not as hyped up yeah as i agree say it is I mean, the layout is just C a or B tier. B tier. I'd say B tier. It was actually the really fun. Of the, map. The, the Roman gladiators, gladiators was, was really cool. Interesting enemies. Let's talk about the Easter egg. It was cool. I think it's pretty decent, although some yeah. of the steps are kind of out there, like collecting. Some of them dogs. are weird, but I yeah, thought they were sure cool. Yeah, not sure what that's about. But at the end, you get to fight not one but two motherfuckers. Yeah, I liked elephants. it too. I respect nine as a map, probably the yeah. best chaos map to just jump in. It and is, play. it is definitely the best tier. chaos map. That's what I'm talking about, Donald. Seems we can agree on something. Yeah. And not to mention Donald, it features another banging Avenged Sevenfold track. True. As the Easter egg song. True. Glad that didn't take long, and we all agreed. Oh, I'm sure Joe is about to tell us how much he loves Dead of the Night. Oh no. What a dumb map. <laughs> Whoever would have thought we'd be killing Count fucking Dracula and the Wolfman in zombies? I so didn't play sad. Dead of the Night too much. Just thinking about it makes me want to go on a tweet. Story. I remember seeing a lot of videos. Well, Donald, on it, though. you might be surprised to know I don't like this map. I can never figure it out. There's like 100 fucking part spawns on this map, and I don't feel like opening a Mr. Daylight like JD video every. That's the, the the crazy thing about Trump's AI is that like half of the time I agree with him a hundred percent. And half of the time, I disagree with him 100%. And there's, like, no in-between. He never has, like, a, a, a reasonable, like, middle ground, like, opinion. He's he's at both of the extremes. Every time I want to play zombies. Not to mention opening pack a punch I'm not, is tedious yeah. and monotonous. I wouldn't give I do it like the dark any higher than C, personally. The silver bullets are a unique mechanic. And the Alistair's are they folly really, is though? a strong-as-hell wonder weapon. With a fun upgrade quest. I remember if it was by strong. fun upgrade quest, you mean fucking stupid. I mean, <laughs> this one requires you to pick up vampire shit. What's the obsession with fecal matter in this game? True. I never really noticed that before, but Don has a point. Yeah. Still, I think it belongs in C tier. C. What are you fellas thinking? I think it's an A tier. It's my no. favorite chaos map. I got to no, side with you Donald like it on more this, than this nine? map is miserable. D tier is the absolute highest I can go, but I'd be happier with F. Thank you, Sleepy Joe, and this is why we're friends. Maybe I'll drop the Sleepy from your name during the campaign season. Oh, fine. We'll How meet nice. in the middle at C tier since you all want to be here. Yeah, C tier's fair, I think. Next is Ancient Evil. The end as well. Yeah, I can't believe just when things were really getting interesting, they ended it. At least we got that. <laughs> he said, gotta support the Commonwealth. During the campaign season. Fine. We'll meet in the middle at C tier since you all want to be haters. Yeah, put it at C. Next is Ancient Evil. Ugh. Probably the peak of the chaos story, and ironically, the end as well. Yeah, I can't believe just when things were really getting interesting, they ended it. At least we got that. There's a lot of maps Medusa coming up that I have. I didn't scene. play too much. That shit was pretty hot. Not gonna lie. I mean, this map was goofy as fuck, like all of chaos. But I do like the wonder weapons. My favorite is probably the hand of Karen. Did I play these ones? I didn't play them 
a whole lot. Some of them I didn't play at all, um, but most of them I, I like played on release and then like never played again. Like I, I tried them and then didn't play them. I'm trying to remember. Honestly, the names don't even the names don't even come to mind. Like I'm struggling trying to remember what the fucking map was just based off the names. I know I played Die Machine. I played Firebase. I played Mauer. I played Outbreak in Town and, and obviously all those ones. But Ancient Evil, Alpha Omega, and Tag. I don't. I don't remember if I played them or not. Honestly, I'd have to see like gameplay of them. The shield was pretty dope, and the Easter egg is actually really fucking fun. The hit your mark I, I, step I is one of the know. most fun steps in zombies history. Yeah, totally. Uh, can we settle on A tier for Ancient Evil? Really? Sure A tier. Thing, Joe. And they all okay, agree. Next up is Alpha Omega. Crazy. Oh, I love this map too. All right, motherfucker, you're back to being sleepy, Joe. Oh Joe, no. Joe, how can you like this dog shit? I mean, it's just Nuketown zombies, just slightly bigger, and the entire bunker is just ripped from blackout mode. The Easter egg is not challenging. Oh yeah, I remember Abigail blackout mode. I forgot about that. War was cool. It wasn't really a boss fight. Oh, I thought his name was Avocado this whole time. You thought the electric man was named after a fruit? Stupid Joe. So what do you like about Alpha Omega? Typical. <laughs> He's fucking asleep. <laughs> Joe, wake oh, the fuck up. No. Huh? Oh, sorry, what'd I miss? We just dropped Alpha Omega and F tier. That's what you missed. On to Tag Der Toten. This map was pretty mid. Blackout watch so Warzone could run. Cool. I've never I heard like a truer statement again, in my life. BO4, so it's going to be a little lower than it could be. You could not be the more correct. Of the golden pack -a -punch Honestly, I thought made this I thought Blackout was more fun than Warzone personally. Blackout was like I had such a good time playing Blackout. Map stand out compared to the rest of BO4. Playing as Victis again was nice too. Yeah. Who wants to play as Victis during the final Ether map? And instead of a real cutscene, we get another Microsoft fucking PowerPoint presentation. Oh, we no. should have gotten the Great War map, not this. Is it running at 10 frames? Ending. Donald, the Great War map never existed. It did before Treyarch fucked up BO4 so badly. Factions never came out. Zombies Chronicles 2 never came out. True. No wonder Jason Blundell got fired. <laughs> Let's stick to talking about Tag. I, for one, oh, hate how no. they killed off Not Primus Jason and Ultimus. Blundell. It felt so out of character for Nikolai to do his friends like that, even if it had I to agree. happen. I agree. It was anticlimactic. I remember I looking at the story. Are all over, we stick it firmly in the middle at C tier. Mm. Oh boy, onto Cold War Zombies, my favorite. More like Cold Snore Zombies. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the war zone in. Fucking Trump gets me sometimes, dude. He said more like cold snore zombies. Die Machine was not that bad. I didn't like the whole extraction mechanic. Like how you had to extract from the map after certain rounds and whatnot. But I thought the map itself was pretty okay. Influence. Every map in this game feels the same. There's no variety at all aside from the map's wonder weapon and the Easter egg, which also take a huge step back in quality. Hmm. In terms of gameplay, every map feels exactly the same. George is Yeah, spitting. no wonder Joe likes it. It holds his hand through every step of the Easter egg and with no perk yeah. limit in the armor system. I, I remember on Die Machine, I beat the Easter egg the very first time I did it. Uh, I was watching the Easter egg tutorial video as I was playing. I didn't even watch it before, uh, before starting. I was watching it as I was playing, and I still beat it on the first try. And it, it was like it was not difficult at all. Very easy Easter egg. Surviving to high rounds becomes a test of patience instead of a test of skill. And don't get me started on the story. The intel system was so fucking stupid. Yeah, it was so bad. many piece of it. The only way to follow what was going on was to watch a YouTube video explaining it all. Mr. Raffle Waffles. Rick Tofen and Samantha were the only interesting characters. Bringing campaign characters into zombies was stupid as hell. I agree. Uh, what about Peck? He Should've was cool. kept it. Same with Weaver same and Raptor 1. Raptor 1? The guy who exfills you from the map? That's not a character. He's a gameplay element. Peck was okay, but the scene in Firebase Z where he dances is kind of cringe. <laughs> not to mention, we never got the transit remake we deserved. True. I mean, think about it. Bro, Trump is fucking 
Trump is fucking spitting right now. Where is the goddamn transit remaster, dude? I'm gonna lose my mind. That map deserves so much better. Get that shit out of F tier right now. Cringe. Not to mention, we never got the transit remake we deserve. I mean, think about it. I'm Nobody's angry. Nobody's gonna be playing Firebase Z five years from I'm now. I'm angry just thinking I say about we it. Lump all of them into F tier. Now hold your horses, Cheeto man. Cold War is still fun and brought Cheeto a lot man. of new players to the game, even if it did lose a lot of the personality that zombies had before. I say we give Cold War credit for that. Oh my okay, god. Okay, but Firebase Z and Forsaken definitely belong in F tier. Worst Treyarch maps along with Transit. Don't you dare compare those maps to my beloved Yeah, transit. don't even fucking start. I ought to build start. a great huge wall around your house just for making such a comment. <laughs> Okay, well, those maps are definitely bottom of the pack, but D Machine and Mauer der Toten are genuinely a good time. Please, let's put them in B tier at least. Okay, we can do that. No. This shit is more rigged than the 2020 election. Those no, maps are horrible. No, you too. did not. Trump, you got a lot more say than Joe did on this tier list. Just shut up and accept it, even though we know you can't accept what. D Machine and Tag der Toten in B and C tier, and they have the fucking odd. Audacity to put transit in F? Oh my god. I I don't even know what to say, dude. Like you ever have you ever like heard someone give an opinion that was just so wrong that you're like stun locked and you don't even know what to say? That's how I feel right now. When you don't get your way. What about outbreak? Dog shit. Dog shit. Not real zombies, just multiplayer maps with zombies thrown in. Yeah, dog shit. I gotta shit. agree. Outbreak really it. isn't what we expect Throw out it of out. zombies. Put it Drop in the it trash. In uh, it I can live with that F. and I enjoy it, but it's not for everyone. F trash. Okay, well, that settles it. No point ranking farm or bus depot, but I know for a fact we all think town is an A tier experience. Everybody so does. Let's drop that there. Yeah. Well, this tier does. list is more cursed than I would like, but overall, this was pretty fun. Town was great. Yeah, I had a good time. Uh,. Our opinions are definitely all over the place, but we still managed to make a tier list with everyone's input. This is the final tier list. S tier, Darize, Mob of the Dead, Origin, Shadows, and Darize and Druk. No, no real complaints there. I think that is all fine. Uh, A tier, Call of the Dead, wouldn't put it there. Gorod Krovi, that's fair, 9, fair. Ancient Evil in Town, I guess, are both fair. B tier, Martyr, Toten, and Verrucked. I hated Verrucked, personally. I would have put Verrucked a lot lower. Same with Ascension, and Classified, and D Machine. Those are not B tier maps. I would have put Revolution, Re eh, Revelations in B. Um, Zitsubonoshima in B. Transit and S or A. A's fair. Other than that, though, I think it's probably fine. Yeah, I think, th I mean, you know, you're taking a lot of different people's opinions into consideration here, so it makes sense that the, the list is going to be a little bit skewed. Tay Ta, what's going on, Tay? How have you been? Thanks for joining in. It's good to see you. How about we get an Easter egg going? Ooh, fuck yes, transit. Damn it, Don. You Not and the transit, transit Easter right, egg. Oh, it, no. Dead. All right, let's show these undead fuckers what happens when you mess with the presidential zomboys. For Jesus Christ. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, I didn't agree with most of what they had to say, but I thought it was interesting, at the very least. Thank you.